Look at this guy. Hey, everybody. It's been some time, but uh, we're here at Sam's Pad. Yeah, welcome to my studio. Nice. And uh, today, actually, we're filming a whole bunch of stuff at once. So this is the first in a series that we're doing about the cool... Sep Sepulchral Guard. Sepulchral That's the, Guard. Uh, don't quote me on that. It's the, <laughs> it's the cool skeletons. It's the super cool skeleton sculpts for Shadespire from Games Workshop. And yeah. so um, I'm going to go through and start a series, basically, of videos about different techniques to kind of work on different parts of these. And you can use them on all kinds of other models. Yeah, I basically wanted to, like... We've done all these other videos on kind of specific topics, but I wanted to do a series where they're all rolled into one. So that's what we're going to do uh, with these Sepulchral Guard, kind of a quick and dirty. I'm just throwing all the techniques that I'm currently using for tabletop quality right now. So some of it's kind of advanced, some of it's simple. This first one, we're going to talk about the bases. It incorporates a little bit of wet blending, but I'm always encouraging people to use that as a basic technique or as a starter technique, get started on early, but we talk about dry brushing, which we haven't covered in any of the other videos, and I know that might be kind of simple or beyond some people's abilities, but there's also plenty of new painters out there who don't know about this stuff, so in the essence of covering every possible you know, square inch of the ground we have to cover, we're gonna talk about dry brushing. Cool. Yeah, so <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> All right, so the first step in painting the sepulchral guard, we're gonna break it down and start with the bases. Um, here's kind of a finished example of our first step, but to make things even more easy to explain, I just have a blank base here laid out. So before we dry brush, we're going to wet blend a progression from dark to light, the lightest spot being where the figure is facing. Because I think this adds a little more motion and action to the figure and when it comes to like wargaming, it's all about creating that cinematic effect. So, without further ado, I've got some uh, Shadow Gray by Vallejo, and I'm just gonna throw it in the middle, like so. And this is an easy way to practice wet blending on your bases, because usually you've like, you've glued on some texture or something, and uh, the thicker paints, or the paint will fall into the, the crevices, I'm using thicker paint so they don't dry out on me as quick. As you see, I'm still talking and it's not dry yet. Opposed to the many thin layers approach, it would kind of dry out on you. So, assuming that this side is the rear end of the base, I'm just gonna bring a little bit of black into it. You can see the colors wet blending together, getting to know each other as I go, and then I'll come back. Uh, you're not using a lot of, these paints aren't diluted at all. They're just sitting on my palette. Just so you know, I'm not like watering them down. You want it kind of uh, thick and sticky so it's not going to run around on you as if it was uh, diluted. Now I'll take a little Troll Blood highlight and bring it into the front portion of the base, like so. You see, I'm kind of using the side of the brush. I'm not, uh, I'm not sketching on it like this, right? I'm, I'm sweeping. So you can kind of tease things around. And that's how wet blending is done. Just like that. It's pretty, uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, linear that way, but when applied to a textured surface, the textures start to take over for you a little bit, as you can see on this guy. So, <laughs> now, uh, Sorry for the uh, short pause, you want a dry brush to do your dry brushing, right? So sometimes it's handy to have a few extra brushes on hand as I pull that out. So totally dry brush. I'll put it right into the Troll Blood highlight here. I'll bring my uh, paper towel into the equation and just wipe the paint off. And you can see that the, the paint is kind of picking up on the texture of the paper towel there. So that's a good consistency. And then I'll start with the uh, front portion of the model's base. I'll just lightly dry brush over all the raised edges, just a scant amount of paint on the brush. Oh yes, the sound of dry brushing. So, just like that. 
And then, after you finish with that dry brushing step, I put down uh, a wash of Army Painter's Dark Tone. This is just black. And the model came out like this. That's so just a wet blend, a dry brush, and a wash. Pretty neat. Now I'll take a little bit of Vallejo White into the equation and mix it about 50-50 with the Troll Blood Highlight. Just do it to taste, whatever is uh, bright enough or dark enough for you. There, you can kind of see it in the uh, palette in the background there, but it's just making a lighter shade of gray. A little bit more white. And now I'm imagining the light source coming from like a, a face-on angle of the figure. I'm just gonna pick out the front portion of the base like so. Just like that. And luckily I have, uh, <laughs> if I can hang on to my brush, I have a bunch of uh, sepulchral guard prepped up to this level. So I'll just go ahead and quickly do the front portion on all of these. And then once this is dry, so kind of imagining the setting of this shade spire. All the, I've seen like the game tiles and they're they're in like this kind of cold gray bluish sort of tone. So I'm trying to match that because it's cool. It comes with like this printed out graphic and I figure you want the figures to match the, the surface that you're playing on. So that's why I'm going with this uh, sort of bluish. But I also wanted to add some, wash some greens in there to make it more, uh, more of like a mossy look. But yeah, we're just going to take a break and then I'll, I'll wash some greens in there. All right, we're back after letting some paint dry. So the next step, everything is all dried out, and I wanted to add some mossy tones to it. I'm going to glue a little bit of moss to the bases later on in the, the same place, but we're just talking about the painting in this video, and you'll, you'll see in the end result, we'll show the final photos. But yeah, here's my little dude here, and then in the background, I have some Gnarls Green and Ordic Olive. Those are both from the P3 line of paints, and I'm just going to take some water, make them real washy, and... Yeah, they don't. This doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be kind of messy because you want to create irregularities. We don't want that perfect blend. We want to want it to look like random moss growing on the miniature. So, I'm just going to kind of selectively place that in some areas, maybe around the base of his gravestone here. Yeah, I'm not going to go uh, too overboard on it. Just a little, a little bit of a, a hint. Yeah, just like that. Work through a few of them and uh, kind of let the first coat dry. Yeah, there you can see it's nothing too crazy. Just like that. And then I'll go back with some of the lighter uh, Ordic Olive. Just mix it in there. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not trying to like completely cover the base or anything. I just want some some subtle hints, add some of that micro detail. And of course, I'm going to you see there's just like some gravestones and they have a few uh like features and details on their bases. I'm going to go back and add some quick hi highlights to those cuz you want a little bit more of a defined edge on that versus just uh dry brushing it if the dry brushing is good for you, then I'm happy too. Yeah, we'll just kind of bring those details up a little bit. And this is just with our, our final dry brush highlight that uh, the white mixed into the Troll Blood highlight. Yeah. Just like that. Oh god, I'm off center. All right, so there's the basic base, and for the final step, I'm gonna paint the rim of the base, but 
I see this in wargaming. Commonly, like a lot of people will paint the base black, but black is a very heavy color, and I would prefer to have the deepest, darkest points of contrast on the figure on the actual figure versus weighting it down on the base. Um, it makes it makes a real subtle difference. And if you're taking a page from the GW playbook, you'll notice they don't paint any of their bases with a black rim. They always kind of neutralize it with a brown or something. So my color of choice, I'm taking some of that Vallejo shadow gray, mix it in with a black. And keeping your brush at the right angle, you should be able to wrap it around the figure fairly uh, quickly and effectively. Let's get it wrapped around like so. And this will start to bring the figure together. Yeah. So there is my end result. A little wet blending, a little dry brushing, and uh, some rim work. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, so I'd like to thank everyone, uh, Adam and everyone at the Tabletop Minions channel for making this happen and putting it together. I'm really happy to be a part of it. It's good to be back. Um, you can find my work at samsonminis.blogspot.com and I also started a Facebook artist page that I'm kind of putting more of the work in progress stuff up on there because it's easier for me to interact with the audience. So Sam, the fantasy artwork of Sam Lenz is my Facebook artist page. So go and check that out and we'll see you next time.